ओके हेलो गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबॉडी आई होप आई एम ऑडिबल इफ आई एम ऑडिबल जस्ट लेट मी नो इन द कमेंट बॉक्स ऑडिबल ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द सेशन फॉर टुडे देन यस ओके ओके थैंक यू सो मच चलिए ओके आई एम ऑडिबल आई गॉट अ कंफर्मेशन आज पहली बार इतने लोगों से कंफर्मेशन मिला है है ना अदरवाइज वेबव इज द वन हु इज ऑलवेज कंफर्मिंग चलो इट्स गुड राइट सो आज मुझे लग रहा है इस साल का ये हमारा लास्ट सेशन होगा राइट बिकॉज टुमारो इज अ हॉलीडे थर्टी फर्स्ट संडे राइट एंड वी विल बी हैविंग देन सेशन ऑन सेकेंड राइट तो संडे मंडे छुट्टी रहेगी राइट सो आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू दैट ऑन संडे एंड मंडे वी विल नॉट बी हैविंग सेशन संडे को तो वैसे नहीं होता मंडे इट्स अ हॉलीडे सो ट्यूजडे वी विल बी हैविंग अ सेशन आफ्टर टूडे राइट ओके सो दिस गॉन बी लास्ट सेशन ऑफ आर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री आई होप दिस ईयर एंडेड वेल फॉर यू गाइज है ना How many of you you guys are satisfied with the way the year has went, right? For you guys, how it has went for you guys academically, right? I am not talking personally, but only just for the purpose of academically. Good sir, right? Roller coaster ride, right? okay. life lessons also yes yes okay okay see life is all about gaining such experiences right and in 2024 be make sure that you have a good resolution so that you are able to fulfill those resolutions right chaliye so let's start the session for today right and okay so just give me a confirmation are you able to see the newspaper yes okay so this is a very historic agreement that has been signed between center assam government and the united liberation front of assam now this is the tripartite agreement that has been very much significant for the assam's peace and government has now achieved eliminating all the violent groups in the states right so by this agreement ulfa cadres have agreed to surrender arms ammunition vacate their camps and have decided to join the mainstream and engage in peaceful democratic process established by law and maintain the integrity of the country right so this is the important news that is very much relevant from our internal security point of view from our developmental purpose as well why because if there are lesser of violent protesting groups in our different parts of the states then obviously it will augur well for the developmental process why because now these are the people who were not satisfied with the way the government was working and was protesting against it in a violent manner would be now able to let's say surrender their arms they will be vacating their camps and they will be joining the mainstream all together democratic process this is the victory of democracy as you can see over here right now one of the thing you have to understand is when we talk about democracy it is a rule of the people and when we talk about rule of the people people elect certain candidates that will rule on behalf of them and those people will form the government and that government will be called as the state now if the violent groups were not happy obviously they didn't want those people those government to be ruling them right so they didn't want any state so they wanted to have a let's say stateless society but what we are witnessing over here that finally that they have been able to surrender their arms as a result what we can see over here that they will be a part of this big democratic process that is why we say india is the largest celebrating democracy that we have seen after 1947 it is the only country where we are able to see such levels of huge humongous levels of democratic institutions democratic processes that is being respected and at the end of the day these are being honored even by the protesting groups as well as you can see over here with united liberation front of assam has finally said ke hum sare apne arms ko surrender kar denge right so this is one of the good news that is coming from northeast if it does happen now we will see that how the developmental works will go on right there will be no protesting there would be also 
easing a very similar attitude and as a result what we can see over here a lot of big future plans for Assam government as well. So this is a big big plus when we talk about this agreement that has been taken place between Center Assam and United Liberation Front of Assam. Right. So this was the most important news that was there in today's newspaper. Okay. Now moving to the next part. So see there is nothing important over here. I can directly go to the next page. Now this is very interesting. You can see over here. This is a very interesting news from our environmental purpose. Right. Generally we skip this. But this is very important. Hai. Central Zoo Authority has allowed the Odisha government to carry out planned transfer of a cheetah, African lion and chimpanzee from Dubai Safari Park to Nandan Kanan Zoological Park Bhuvaneshwar. The CZA has asked the wildlife wing of the state forest and environment department to keep requisite housing facilities. According to the wildlife wing, the NZP that is the Nandan Kanan Zoological Park will receive ring-tailed lemur, red-necked wallaby, Hamadrias baboon, African grey parrot and blue and gold macaw in addition to the cheetah, right? African lion and chimpanzee from DSP and DSP is not the deputy spirit police. It is the Dubai Safari Park. In exchange, NZP will provide hippopotamus, black buck, hawk deer, gore, red jungle fowl and the ghadiyal. Now, this is a very interesting news. Now, we are what we are seeing over here. Now, a zoo will be having the cheetah from Dubai an African lion and a chimpanzee and in return they would be giving it to Dubai Safari Park that is a black buck, hawk deer, gore, red jungle fowl and ghadiyal. Now this is very interesting because we have cheetahs right now last year we got them from Namibia and this year we got them from South Africa right. So in the Kuno National Park in Madhya Pradesh now in Odisha Nandan Kanan Zoological Park becomes very important right. So these are the kind of news that we get and the questions that we can get in the prelims as well right. So question aisa a sakta hai aane wale time mein 24 tak maan lijiye or cheeta Odisha mein bhi a jata hai. Now they can ask you a question which of the following states in India has the population of cheetahs right. So here you will have the answer in Madhya Pradesh because in Kuno National Park mein we have the African cheetahs. But what we are witnessing over here that this zoological park in Odisha will be also getting the cheetah, right? So this is also one of the state that is housing one of the cheetahs. Yes, very interesting. Now this method where we are bringing cheetahs from a safari park and it will be coming to this zoo, somehow it is an ex situ mode of conservation. What it is? It is an ex situ mode of conservation because we are not preserving in them in their natural habitat, but we are preserving them in their captive breeding or in external factors, right? So this is a very important point. Second important news and the best takeaway that you can take away from this news is that when we talk about Central Zoo Authority, it is a nodal agency for regulating the zoo all over the country. That is why Central Zoo government or authority has allowed the Odisha government to carry out the planned transfer. So as a result, we know one thing that the most nodal agency is Central Zoo Authority. Now can anyone tell me under which act this CZA has been formed? Can anyone tell me in the comment box quickly? Central Zoo Authority has been formed under which act? Quickly tell me. Hanji guys. No one knows about it? Okay, I will tell you. It has been formed under Wildlife Protection Act 1972. Very good, Fakidesh. It has been formed under Wildlife Protection Act 1972. Yes, yes. Very good. Very good. Okay. So, some of you were knowing about this particular fact and very interestingly, yes, it was formed under Wildlife Protection Act 1972. Very, very important. Wildlife Protection Act ke andar aur bhi kaafi sari bodies bani thi. Main ek bar naam le deta hun uska. Aap usko note down kar sakte hai, right? So, one was the Office of Chief Wildlife Warden. Second one is uh, we have uh, Indian, uh, what we call it as Indian Board for Wildlife. Then we had State Board for Wildlife. We had Central Zoo Authority. We have National Tiger Conservation Authority. And we have Wildlife Crime Control Bureau. These are all the bodies that have been formed under Wildlife Protection Act 1972. I am repeating the names. One is the uh, National Tiger Conservation Authority. One is the Central Zoo Authority. One is Wildlife Crime Control Bureau. One is Indian Board for Wildlife. One is State Board for Wildlife. And finally, we have what is the 
इंडियन बोर्ड फॉर वाइल्ड लाइफ नेशनल बोर्ड फॉर वाइल्ड लाइफ एंड फाइनली वी हैव द चीफ वाइल्ड लाइफ वार्डन का ऑफिस राइट सो दीज वर द इंपॉर्टेंट न्यूज एंड यू हैव टू रिमेंबर द नेम ऑफ द जुलॉजिकल पार्क ऑफ ओडिशा द नेम इज नंदन कनन जुलॉजिकल पार्क इट इज इन भुवनेश्वर ओके मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ओके Now this is a very interesting news because this is very important from your AMC point of view. As you can see over here, three eleventh century Jain sculptures were discovered at Varunga village in Mysuru district. Very important. Now nothing has been revealed related to it. अभी इनकी forensic reporting होगी. But one of the thing we are getting is that these have been found and discovered at Varuna village in Mysuru. So you can quote a direct question from which of the following cities were the three Jain sculptures discovered, right? So these have been discovered in Mysuru district. Now one of the thing that we know is ke sare ke sare tirthankar se related hai jo Jain dharm ke andar hote hain, right? So it is very important ki hame ye cheez pata honi chahiye, right? Otherwise nothing more than that has been found. Ek badi deteriorated condition mein mila tha, damage mein mila tha and other two were were in a fairly good condition right so this is a point that we have to understand related to 11th century jain sculptures discovered in mysuru district bas isme itna hi hai isse zyada isme kuch nahi hai but aapko ye pata hona chahiye varuna village in the mysuru district bas itni cheez yaad rakhna right okay moving to the next part now if i see the articles today there is nothing that much important right this is related to prime, uh, prime minister uh, president donald trump this is related to decision where we have been able to commute the death sentences that were given to the persons who were in qatar right so ye ek cheez pata honi chahiye now this is related to the recent uh, that is uh, uh, the the uh, conflict that had taken place between finance minister between of central government and the uh, state, uh, state finance minister of tamil nadu of union Fa wealth fair uh, youth welfare right sorry not the finance minister of state but of the youth welfare but after that it were certain assurances given by pradhan mantri ji to the uh, cm that they will be receiving the funds for two reasons one is for the floods and one is the devastation that has come under cyclone mishong right so these are the two things that you have to understand otherwise there is nothing that much important over here and this article yes it is a little bit interesting but it is talking about one particular aspect that you have to understand is this is talking about for a disability inclusion right so what they are talking about they are talking about rehabilitation that is very very important so they have tried to focus the burden on the rehabilitation process right so this is article that you can read i don't think there is a particular thing that i need to explain because this is all factual this is all factual data and you have to just read it by yourself there is nothing that it needs to be incorporated kuch ek do cheeze hain bada hi technical hai agar hum baat kare article to hamare examination se itna important nahi okay now this is very interesting thing that is coming from kerala Kerala now has moved the Supreme Court for guidelines on the circumstances under which the governors may reserve the bills present to him for the consideration of the president, withhold his assent or return it to the assembly. The state government recently made the plea by an amendment to its writ petition. Now, what has happened is recently Supreme Court ne bola hai ke if a governor is withholding the bill. then he has to return the bill as soon as possible to the state government right so state government if they gets the bill they will reconsider it pass it with amendments or without amendments and it would be then passed to the governor and then he has to pass the bill but there is a one provision that has been set up over there that the governor has to return the bill for reconsideration of the state government as soon as possible now the whole conflict lies in the word as soon as possible because there are still we have seen cases where like in the case of kerala governor ye to chalo um, ruling abhi aayi as soon as possible wali ke withhold karne ke baad aapko return karna padega but before that governor of kerala was sitting on the bills for 2 years 8 bills so as a result this particular thing where the whole democratic process the whole the decision making process gets delayed so the kerala government wants that we need to set up a certain time frame as a result what they have done is they have moved to the supreme court in order to get so what the particular time period shall be under the as soon as possible second thing is that governor has also the power let's see one of the power is ke wo withhold kar sakte hain assent ko bill ko ya dusri cheez hai wo return kar sakte hain तीसरा क्या है वो पास कर सकते हैं चौथा क्या है दे कैन रिजर्व इट फॉर द कंसिडरेशन ऑफ द प्रेसिडेंट इफ दे समहाउ फील दैट देर आर सर्टेन फीचर्स दैट इज इंडेजरिंग द पोटिशन ऑफ द जुडिशरी दैट इज द हाई कोर्ट इन दैट कंसेंस दैट विल कैन बी रिजर्व फॉर द 
लेट से अगर हम बात करते हैं किसके लिए प्रेसिडेंट के लिए बट वट वी सीन ओवर हेयर इज दट देर है सर्टन डिस्क्रिप्शन दैट हैज बिन फॉलोड बाई द गवर्नर इन कंटेक्ट ऑफ कंसिडरिंग द बिल फॉर द कंसिडरेशन ऑफ द प्रेजेंट और रिजर्विंग द बिल फॉर द कंसिडरेशन ऑफ द प्रेजेंट सो दैट इज वाई दे आर सीकिंग द नॉर्म दे आर सेट टू सेट अ नॉर्म अंडर विच द गवर्नर्स शेल बी रिजर्विंग द बिल्स सो दिस इज द इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट दैट वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड इन दिस कंटेक्स लेट मी रीड वन और टू स्टेटमेंट सो दैट यू कैन गेट अ बेटर क्लैरिटी Kerala pointed out that the governor Arif Muhammad sat on eight bills that were passed by the state legislature even up to three years. Right later, the governor sent seven of the eight bills for the consideration of the president without examining each one of them and giving reserve reasons for reserving them. The governor resorted to this step after the court issued the notice on November 20. Now the council standing for the state re-emphasize the plea to declare that the governor failed to exercise his powers and duties under the constitution, though his inaction on the bills that were present for his consideration. Kerala has also sought a directive of the court to the governor to dispose of the pending bills without further delay. The Supreme Court is likely to consider the case when it resumes functioning after the holidays. So what happened was. गवर्नर को बोला गया कि अगर आपने उसके ऊपर विदहोल्ड करा है तो रिटर्न कीजिए वहां पे केरला गवर्नर ने क्या किया उसको कंसीडर कर दिया रिजर्व कर दिया फॉर द प्रेसिडेंट एंड दे आर नाउ बीइंग रिजर्व फॉर द प्रेसिडेंट एंड नॉट दे हैव नॉट बीन गिवन द रीजंस व्हाई दे हैव बीन रिजर्व फॉर द प्रेसिडेंट सो दैट इज व्हाई दिस इज द मैटर दैट हैज बीन नाउ टेकन बाय द केरला गवर्नमेंट इन केस ऑफ गवर्नर के ऐसा कर सकते हैं गवर्नर के नहीं कर सकते एंड फाइनल वर्डिक्ट इज गोना कम आफ्टर द मैटर इज गोना गो टू सुप्रीम कोर्ट एंड दे विल रिज्यूम आफ्टर हॉलीडेज हां जी यहां तक सभी को क्लियर है तो कंफर्मेशन दीजिए प्लीज जल्दी ओके ओके नाउ द इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग वी हैव द इसरो दैट्स गोना सेट टू लॉन्च एक्सपो सेट एंड टेन अदर पे लोड ऑन जनवरी फर्स्ट राइट एंड it will be launching through its pslv c58 that is this x ray polarimeter satellite mission on january 1 and it will also launch along with 10 more payloads and this is going to be a very much important day for our new year as well for our country as well that we are showing our strength in the field of space by launching the new satellites and the payloads on when when the most important day of the year that is the january 1 let us read more about it now this will be set uh, launching into an eastward low inclination orbit right to ye sara process bata rakha hai ki kya kya hoga ab ek cheez yaad rakh lo the expo set is the first dedicated scientific satellite from isro to carry out research in space based polarization measurement of x ray emissions from celestial sources now this is very interesting now expo set pehli dedicated scientific satellite hai that will be carrying out research in space based polarization measurement jo light ki polarization hum physics ka principle padhte hain of this x ray emissions ke related from the celestial sources now this particular expo set mission will be carrying two payloads one is polix that is polarimeter instrument in x rays and second one is expect that is x ray spectroscopy and timing polix has been developed by the raman research institute and expect has been developed by the space astronomy group of ursc that is bengaluru now this is the most important point isko apne notes mein add kar lijiye very interesting because this is a direct question ki expo set launch kiya ja raha hai basically polarization check karne ke liye coming from celestial sources of x-ray emissions and second one is it has two uh, payloads one is the polix and one is the expect right so this is a part that you cannot miss and this could be a potential your mains prelims question right not the mains but the prelims question okay now there is india has requested let founder that is a lashkar e taiba founder hafiz says extradition from pak but see what happens but i don't think there would be anything much happening over here right now this is the world news that we have israel bombs south gaza as officials join cairo for talks trump rip block from republican presidential primary in main right china names former navy chief as new defense ministers 122 missiles fired in russia's biggest aerial barrage on ukraine poland says russian missile passed through its airspace entering from and then back to ukraine now you can see that russia has gone a little bit offensive again on ukraine and it fired almost 122 missiles now this is a very big or we can say biggest aerial barrage that has been conducted on your uh, ukraine right so this is a war that is not ending but maybe there are certain scopes in the field of geopolitics where they are talking about a certain scenario that by 2024 we might see that this resolution or this conflict getting resolved right even putin uh, we went talked about एक्सक्यूज मी वेन वी टॉक अबाउट पुटिन पुटिन ने भी मोदी जी को बुलाया है और इसी के ऊपर सोल्यूशन के क्या होना चाहिए है ना तो देखते हैं क्या बनता है ओके नाउ दिस इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग दीज आर सर्टन इंपॉर्टेंट न्यूज दैट वी हैव इन द इकोनॉमिक स्पेस राइट वी विल डिस्कस दैम वन बाई वन 
core sector growth skid to six month low in November. Now, one of the things we have to understand is when I talk about index of industrial production, it is basically about taking about how much production is taking up take place across various sectors. And in those indexes of industrial production, the major core sector are the group of eight industries that contributed to 40% to index of industrial production. Now see, those output, when we see, it has now come to six month low. Let us see. Crude oil, one of the core sector, has slipped back into contraction in November sliding 0.4%. Fertilizer output grew 3.4%, the slowest in three months. Natural gas output grows slow to 7.6%. Power generation growth, growth slowed to five-month low of 5.6% in November. Now, you can see over here, now what we are witnessing over here, that there has been a very much low growth that is being witnessed in the core grow, uh, let's say core group area that is the contributing to the index of industrial production, right? Okay. Jobs back to pre-COVID level, not alone in food prices rise, FDI worries, right? So, this is a very interesting figure that COVID ke related to COVID, that India's labor market has recovered from pre-pandemic levels. FDI decline hori are expected to rebound and economic activity that has been robust through October and November is likely to strong remain in the quarter four of 23 and 24. Foreign investment inflows are helping Indian stock market indices climb new heights and reflect broad-based optimism among investors on India's growth prospects. Now, one of the things we have to understand is that here is that we are able to achieve the level of the level of pre-pandemic jobs. FDI की थोड़ी कमी है पर वो वापस फिर से रीज आ जाएगी ठीक है और ये हमारे लिए एक इंटरेस्टिंग फिगर है और देखना पड़ेगा कि आने वाले टाइम में क्या होगा कंसीडरिंग दैट देयर इज अ न्यू कोविड वेरिएंट जे एन पॉइंट वन इज कमिंग दैट इज अ सीरियस डेडली एंड डेंजरस व्हाट वी कैन दे स्ट्रेन देयर हैव बीन अ सर्टेन रिसर्च दैट हैज बीन कंडक्टेड बाय द जापानीज दैट दिस कोविड स्ट्रेन can have a certain impact on the heart as well right so this is going to be very interesting thing in the upcoming months what happens in the field of covid right and its impact so i would advise you kr stray away from the hana gatherings hana jada mat jaiye kahin bahar agar bahut urgent hai tabhi jaiye kyunki abhi agar hum precaution rakhenge tabhi hamare liye fayda hoga kyunki otherwise you gonna see there could be a big wave coming and it has already started coming in usa UK, right? And India in a certain aspect as well, right? Okay. Now moving to the next part. Now this is very interesting. Very, very important. India closing in on lithium deal with Argentina, tapping Australia and Chile. The Mines Ministry through the state-owned Khanij Bidesh India Limited has entered into a draft exploration and development agreement with the Argentinian miner for possible acquisition and development of five odd lithium blocks. The company has also entered into a non-disclosure agreement with Chilean miner, uh, miner Inami for possible exploration, extraction, processing and commercialization of the mineral and appointed consultancy major PWC for identification of investable projects in Australia. Incidentally, Latin American nations Primarily, Chile and Argentina account for 30 to 35 percent of the world's supplies. Chile, with 11 percent of world's lithium reserve supplies, uh, 26 percent of the requirements, while Argentina, with a nearly a one fifth of global reserves, supplies about 6 percent odd. Australia is among the other large producers globally. Talks are in the advanced stages for acquisition of lithium blocks in Argentina, right? So, this is the biggest news that is coming from the field of lithium. As you can see, what are the advantages of lithium, where we can use lithium, right? So, uh, batteries can use or running all the time, EV ki gaadi hai hai. So, as a result, dealing uh, and having an agreement with these countries, with this largest group of countries that have the largest reserves and the supplies as well. That is what we are talking about Chile, Argentina and if we consider Bolivia as well, they make the lithium triangle as well, right? So if we consider these countries along with Australia, so it is a very good thing that is happening that our companies are getting into contracts with the foreign companies of these countries and as a result they are investing and trying to explore the lithium feasibility in these areas, right? So this is very very interesting and if I talk about right now, India has intensified its research for this critical mineral according li including lithium. The alkaline mineral also called, a, called as white gold. Very important, right? We direct prelims question mantha is white gold bhi kehte hai, right? Is a corner store in India switch to green energy, thereby reducing its carbon footprint. I already told you that we use EV mein use karenge, toh carbon footprint kam hoga. Right now, India has put up just lithium blocks for auction, one in JNK, another one in Chhattisgarh, right? So you have to know where there is availability. है. The import bill, if we talk about the uh, lithium, it is very uh, much and it is pegged at about 24,000 crore. 
राइट गाइज तो दिस वॉज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट न्यूज एंड यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर ये छोटे छोटे फैक्ट्स ही बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है व्हाइट गोल्ड किसे कहते हैं ठीक है एल्कलाइन को हमारा कार्बन फुटप्रिंट कम होगा कहां कहां पे हमने अभी इंपोर्ट के ऑक्शन के लिए लगाया जे एंड के और छत्तीसगढ़ में है ना तो ये चीज हमें पता होनी चाहिए राइट गाइज ठीक है जी आई थिंक दैट वॉज इट फॉर टूडे एंड वी हैव फाइनली आर रफाल नडाल दो आर लवर्स ऑफ टेनिस दे मस्ट बी लविंग रफाल नडाल एंड ही इज बैक विद अ बैंग राइट सो वट वो सी के अभी और कॉम्पिटेटिव टेनिस होनी चाहिए राइट चलिए एनी अदर डाउट एनी वन हैज राइट सो दिस इज द लास्ट डे ऑफ दिस करंट ईयर ऑफ आर हिंदू एनालिसिस राइट सो इट हैज बीन अ ग्रेट जर्नी फॉर अस आई होप नेक्स्ट ईयर वुड बी अ सेम जर्नी फॉर अस एंड आई वुड से टू ईच एंड एवरी वन हु सीज आर लेक्चर रिकॉर्डेड वन लाइव वन एज वेल इफ यू आर नॉट रेगुलर देन बी रेगुलर इफ यू आर नॉट डूइंग or let's say making notes then start making notes from newspaper because these are the two ways in which you gonna enrich your notes separate yourself from the rest of the guys and take a lead in becoming the major candidate choice for the let's say prestigious position of upsc right to ye ek badi important cheez hai jo aap logon ko samajhni chahiye if you get to experience it then it would be a great thing right i am telling you from a personal experience when you serve in a government job the Uh, we can say prestige and the honor you get with working in a government job it is far far more right so aapko ek cheez batana chahunga wo bahut zyada hota hai ek badi proud feeling hoti hai proud moment hota hai not for you for your family as well and i think everybody is here for getting clearing in upsc examination upsc examination when you want to clear it one thing you have to understand is ke aapko extra kuch karna padega extra ke liye aapko notes banane padenge aapko koi bhi newspaper mein example dikhti hai aapko usme dalni padegi even if you are let's say studying polity center state relation to abhi kerala aur governor ke beech mein jo issue chal raha hai punjab aur governor ke beech mein jo issue chal raha hai tamil nadu aur governor ke beech mein issue chal raha hai use put kari apne notes ke andar second now if you see certain thing important related disaster management to chennai ne state disaster response fund ke andar kitna paisa manga kitna mila usko add kari apne notes ke andar so these are the type of things that you have to do if you are talking about economics in environment then add this lithium wali news right when you're talking about core growth uske points mein add kar do ki is number mein sabse kam growth hui hai you could be asked about the trends in the upsc examination as well so you need to be absolutely vigilant and this is your preparation you have to understand what upsc is talking about i am the one that can give you an analysis from my perspective my perspective is that this is a important news and this is you have to read and this is where you can be able to understand my work is to make the things easier for you so that when you read a newspaper you have already a picture in your mind a story in your mind then when you read that article then it becomes a very important easier article for you so i would like everybody to get regular make notes from newspaper because this is the most important we can say precious gold for you guys that is your notes right so thank you so much keep reading the newspaper now we will see each other on tuesday that is on 2nd of january right so in advance a very happy new year to you guys right we won't be let's say sending wishes on 31st december at 12 am midnight but yes we are sending it right now that is happy new year to everybody in advance we will see each other on 2nd of january right and that's it guys you have anything to say you can put in the comment box i am here for one or two minutes haan ji you have anything to say i think you are getting the news okay okay guys now see you on 2nd of january so uh, on tuesday till then take care bye bye enjoy